Yo, man, welcome to the journalist DJ.com. And next to me, I've got the lovely Denise Mas. Hey. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good, you know. Uh, you guys can't see, but we're actually at a Great Dane in Bramfontein. Um, and, you know, today we're here for the Ballantines. Actually, you know, it's called Shimsas There's No Wrong Way to Tour uh, event, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 you know, Denise Mars is booked to play. First of all, you know, when you got the call to, to be booked for this big brand called Ballantine and obviously with Shimza, how did that feel and where were you when that happened? Um, it felt really good. Um, I was, I think I was at home, I think, and then I got the call and I was like, wow, Shimza, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, it was dope. And Ballantines, I've also, I've worked, I've done a few things with them, so it was always, it was dope to come back and do something with them again. Yeah, so yeah, it was crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. You know, um, I, I, had, I had to write this down, right? I had to write this down. You're a multidisciplinary producer and curator. So, you know, my question now is like, what, what does a day for you look like? What do you do? A day for me? Um, a day for me looks like waking up. This is if I'm on point, ne? Which, which I'm referring to my exercising, which it's been... I mean, we, 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 we all skip a day or two been two weeks <laughs> no but um, when I'm on point it's waking up taking a jog uh, coming back take a shower breakfast you know and then um, answering emails or sending out invoices um, and then recording the review videos or reaction videos and then a gig later at night probably um, but that, the days are different you know depending on what needs to be done you yeah. know yeah i understand that you know you come from a musical background right with having like family that is like people say jazz is like the, the original music so I can just imagine, you know, it makes sense for you to be in that space as well. But I want to know from you, like, you know, do you, what, what, are, what are your fondest memories of you just, you know, jamming to music or being, thinking about, yo, I actually want to do this as a, as a career? Um, so I don't know if I actually had a moment where I was like, I think I want to do this. Um, I feel like it was something that was pre, what, predestined by God for me because of the type of, family I was born into you know where my dad is a jazz bassist and my uncle is like a crazy lover of music and my brother's also into music and he's a producer and all that so I think it just was the right I was just born in the right vibes of music and it was just inevitable you know I didn't I don't think I had a moment where I was like okay let me you know yeah and I know, you know, jazz artists are purists and they look at other genres like, ah, that's trash. Yeah. So how did your dad react to you being a DJ? Um, so my dad is not a purist. He just likes great music, which is also why uh, we all at home have a good, just listen to different music. Like we listen to house, we listen to hip hop, we listen to R&B, gospel, so like all of it, as long as it's just good music and good quality that's yeah mm -hmm. so he was not like oh my gosh you know mm -hmm. i mean we send each other music and sometimes he sends me like songs that i'm like oh okay yeah <laughs> that must be a dope relationship i can just yeah. imagine and you know one would expect you to study music right but you studied fashion and design yes, yes. so you know why fashion um so like the music um, the fashion design was it was a similar thing. Uh, my dad always tells me the story that when I was like from the time I could pick up a pencil, I used to draw dresses and stuff. So I also myself don't know where it came from, and I he says from the time I could speak, that's all I've ever wanted to do. So it's it's, it's these are just things that were just always inside me that were placed by God and all that, and it just yeah. And you know, do you, do you have creative ways of fusing music and, and fashion or you know, are they t totally different? They're not different. Anything in creative can exist uh, together, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that helps. <laughs> it does, it does. 
So, I mean, look, people love your mixes, right? Um, and people love your sets. Uh, they, they, they are very different. But if we were to describe it in words, how would you describe, you know, your sets when you play? <clears throat> Most of the time, they're just like a journey to good times. <laughs> I don't know, you know, it's a journey to good times, um, especially with my playlists and stuff, like, it's, it's, it's a journey most of the time, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're a storyteller, you're like a journalist yes. on deck? Yes, a journalist on deck, yay, I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> yo, that, yo, guys, that's my name, don't, don't steal that, please. A journalist on deck. <laughs> you know, speaking about names, Denise Ma sounds so dope, you know, and your real name is Koli Sani. Koli Pardon me. It's also my real name. <laughs> oh yeah, so so you know, uh, apologies. Like I'm a Tona, you know, so I've got a Tona tongue, so oh, I can't yes. say, can't say the. So yeah. Olisa. Yeah, Oliswa, Oliswa. <laughs> uh, I know people from Europe are gonna struggle with that one. Yeah. You know, another unique South African name. So yeah, man. You know, obviously, you know, you're very inclined with music. So quickly, um, what are some of the pluggers now? What are some of the songs that you are that are on your playlist now that you're like, damn. You guys need to oh listen God. to this. I'm gonna need to let me get my recently played because I might lie to you. Yeah. Okay. So she's she's getting her phone to check out the playlist, and yeah, man, you know she doesn't want to make any mistakes. <laughs> yeah. You know. So when I find out, like, guys, there's an exclusive. Denise Mars is gonna plug you guys with like some of her favorite songs right now. Okay. So if you're watching this. Whatever song she's gonna mention, you should check it out because it's from Denise Mars herself. Okay, let's go. Um, this is uh, okay. Fly Anakin, uh, Black Be the what is it called? Black Be the what? Black Be the Source by Fly Anakin. That's dope. Overcast, Try Again. Uh, Robert Glasper's um, what song with Esperanza? Yes, Robert Glasper. Oh, Robert Glasper. Why We Speak featuring Q-Tip and Esperanza Spaulding. Um, and then uh, Pink Sifu, uh, Gumbo Deluxe Album, that's also on the playlist. Jill Scott, you know. Um, this lady's name, the pronunciation, I'm scared. Omo Sangare, she's really dope. And Last plug, my husband, the love of my life, Navy Blue, I'm kidding. <laughs> Navy Blue, yeah. I only know Robert Glasper and Jill Scott from yeah, that list. So I really put you on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this back and, and listen to that stuff. So yeah, man, lastly, Denise Mars, um, 2022. Uh, what, what, what's the rest of the year, the year looking like for you? Um, the rest of the year is looking like um, pushing the review videos, getting more gigs, and definitely more 1111 11 events. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like other things, you know? I don't, yeah. Who knows what's to come, but yeah. 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 Looking forward to it. And yeah, man, shout out to you, Ned. Thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else that you wanna say, that you wanna put out there? Shout out to my mom, shout out to my dean, shout out to my sister, Ella. <laughs> and shout out to my niece. Um, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Peace and blessing, guys. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Danko.